Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Um, God enables us to live a supernatural life, a life in the higher realm. And for that, he has given us all the resources um, he has made available to live a supernatural life. And uh, this episode, we are going to be looking at God's word. And specifically, we're going to look at the wisdom that is there, the instruction that is there in the book of Proverbs. So reading from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Verse 8, it will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. So this uh, here is, 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 a, is a warning. It's a warning and an instruction. And what is the warning? Something that the Lord wants us to avoid. He doesn't want us to get into that habit. He says, do not be wise in your own eyes or do not be puffed up with pride in your own evaluation or estimation of yourself. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Um, fear the Lord and depart from evil. Um, to consider and compare uh, our wisdom, our knowledge, to be greater than God, God's wisdom, to be greater than God's instruction is not something that he wants us to do. So he says, do not be wise in your own eyes. The other, other thing is to fear the Lord, to, to be in uh, a reverent awe of God, uh, to, be, uh, to be fearful of the consequences of not following through or not re revering a holy God. Sometimes we take God for granted, sometimes we take His word for granted, His will for granted, and uh, His grace for granted even. But here we are reminded, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Let the fear of the Lord cause us to depart, abandon any evil or wicked way that we might be even considering. Depart from evil. When we do that, it will be health to our flesh and strength to our bones. It will result in a cure or health or well-being. Our whole body in fact, physically, emotionally, spiritually, it rejoices. There is healing, there is cure, there's well-being. It will be health to our flesh, our body, and strength to our bones. Again, uh, our body. It strength, strengthens our body. The picture that we have is that of uh, a moisturizing something which is dry. Uh, strength to our bones. Uh, a refreshing drink, strength to our bones. So when we depart from evil, when we fear the Lord, when we estimate ourselves rightly and consider the estimation or evaluation, wisdom that comes from God, it will be health to our flesh and strength to our bones. Now this is for you and I to experience today. Today, as we step out into the workplace, today, as we, uh, wherever we are, whichever environment we are in, we can experience this health to our flesh and strength to our bones. The Lord desires good for us. The Lord has good thoughts for us, good plans for us, which is why in His word and uh, in His wisdom, He warns us, He warns us so that we avoid doing the wrong thing. Let's pray and uh, look to the Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for challenging us. We thank you for warning us. Uh, we thank you for directing us, O oh God. We thank you for, uh, for this that we read, we looked at right now. We thank you that you called us to depart from evil. We thank you that you called us not to be wise in our own eyes, in our own estimation, God. And Father, we thank you that when we do that, that uh, it will be health to our flesh and strength to our bones. I pray this morning, may that be our experience, God. Let there be a strengthening, let there be a refreshing come upon us. Let it come upon us physically, emotionally, and spiritually, even as we follow your wisdom and your instruction. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.